welcome back to another Sunday Worship Service. We are so excited to see you here. And by we, I mean us here at Bronx Bethany Church of the Nazarene. We are a spirit-filled community of love, where there's a place for absolutely everyone, especially you and the friend we brought you brought with you. Hi, friend. Welcome. All right, so before we begin, we always want to open up with a word of prayer, and then we're going to worship, and then we're going to get into the final installment of our stewardship series. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Lord, I thank you so much because you have taught us so much through this series, Lord. I thank you because you gave us so many gifts. You trusted us with so much. And Lord, I just pray that as we close out our series of stewardship, that we do not close out our um, understanding of stewardship. So Lord, we just look forward to what you have to teach us today. We pray over our time of worship. We thank you for being present. And we pray all of these things in your son's name and all the Lord's children said Amen. Amen. are you ready for it let's go i am a c i am a ch i am a ch r i s d i a n and i have ch r i s d in my h e a r t and i will l i v e e e t e r n a l o y i am a c Speed this up. Are you ready? Here we go. I am a C. In my H E A R T, and I will L I V E E T E R N A L O I. I am a C.
All right, welcome back from worship. As I said in the beginning, this is our final installment of our stewardship series. And then we'll be on to something even better. Well, should I say even better? Something really good. How about that? We're not going to compare them because it's all good stuff, right? So we're going to close out um, by bringing it back to one of the things that we learned on the first day, right? One thing that we learned about stewardship on the first day is that everything belongs to God and he is trusting us with these things, right? And so if it belongs to God, if he created them, if he designed them, if he formed them, right? Just like he formed us, he gave us all of these gifts, then we can also look to him to help us steward them well. And so the scripture we're going to look at briefly is Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. As we learn about stewardship and we think about stewardship, we also want to remember this verse right here. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight, right? So we talked about making plans. We talked about um, stewarding things well. We talked about um, that God owns everything. And this two verses right here is very all-encompassing. It brings all of that together. So we want to trust in the Lord, right? So everything that we are doing, we want to trust in the Lord with all our hearts and this part is very important. Lean not on your own understanding. When we're going in to make those plans that we talked about last week, when we're going in to use our um, gifts that God trusts us with to help other people, when we're going in to try and steward our things well, the first thing we sometimes wanna do is think about it on our own, right? Oh, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? But the first thing we should really be doing is not leaning on our own understanding, but submitting it to him. Who is him? Yes, it's the Lord. So we want to submit it to the Lord. So that example we had last week about the $20, before we start making that budget, we wanna say, Lord, I have this $20. I'm not gonna lean on my understanding, but I'm gonna submit this to you. How do you want me to budget these $20. When you go to make plans, Lord, I feel in my heart that you have given me a gift of um, singing, but Lord, I am submitting it to you and I'm asking, how do you want me to steward this gift well? And the Lord will do what? He will make your paths straight. That means he will help you plan and he will help you steward your things well. Does that make sense? Okay, so before we get to the last two verses, we are going to spend some time with Auntie Asanya with Biblical Rise. Here we go. Hey everybody, welcome back to another segment of Biblical Rhymes. And you know that I'm Auntie Asanya and I am very, very excited to be here with you all today. So today is the last of our series on stewardship. What? have you guys learned so far anybody wants to share yes you've been learning about how to be good stewards right oh, yeah. oh awesome all right so while i was preparing for today for this segment right i came across this thing that they're calling the french fry tax have you guys ever heard of the French fry tax? Yes? No. no? All right, so let me tell you what the French fry tax is. So it's not like the government tax. This is basically a mom and dad tax. So basically what happens is you go to McDonald's with mom and dad or your guardian and they buy you a, a, a meal, right? And then they reach across the table and they ask for some of your fries. <gasps> so that is the French fry tax. Or they reach in the back seat. You see hands in the back seat and they're asking for some of your fries. And some of us might be a little hesitant Hold up. about offering Wait a up our fries, right? Something like that. Right? Maybe a little hesitant. Okay, so if we really think about it, is the fries really ours? 
no mom and dad or a guardian they bought the fries so it's essentially it's really their fries right i suppose you're so right so this little analogy is a good reminder that everything that we have all of it it all belongs to god every single thing that we have so the french fry tax is a reminder that every blessing every talent every gift it all belongs to god every single one of them and it is our responsibility to be good stewards over these gifts to be good stewards over these blessings and to use them for good to use them to serve god and to serve others so today i want us to say this little poem it's it's kind of a what's the word i'm looking for it's kind of a hold on i have to find the word it's kind of that's the word it's kind of a challenge right so guys i'm going to say a poem today it's called all my stuff belongs to god and it's going to be a little challenge for us to say over the course of the week just to remind ourselves that everything all the blessings that we have that it all belongs to god ready all right let's go all my stuff belong to god that includes my time, my money, and my talents. All my stuff belong to God. Without him, I would not have them. All my stuff belong to God because he created it all. All my stuff belong to God Everything I own is his. My job simply is to be a good steward of my gifts and abilities. All right, you all got that? All right, so over the course of the week, I want you to rewatch this series and just say those words so that we can all learn how to be good stewards and we can remember why we should be good stewards i will catch you on the next one bye all right it is man we love to spend that time with auntie asanya she always gives us really good love nuggets right all right so to wrap up our stewardship series we want to talk about what's called our first fruits or you may have heard this word tithing, right? So in everything that we have, we always want to first tithe it to the Lord. What does that look like? So tithing is this word right here. I know we haven't read it yet. Tithing means pretty much 10%, right? So if you have 100% of something, the tithe is the first 10% of it. So this verse right here in Leviticus, can you say that word? Leviticus. Ready? Leviticus. I actually like that word. It's Leviticus 2730. It says this, a tithe of everything from the land, whether grain from the soil or fruit from the trees, belongs to the Lord. It is holy to the Lord. So this is where we get our concept, our um, tradition of tithing. Now, back in the day, the people, they had like grains, they had farm animals, they had those things, right? And so instead of giving a tithe of, I mean, some, they did have money as well, and they would give a tithe of their money, but also you would tithe the things that you have. Remember we said stewardship has to do with everything so this says a tithe of everything we may not have grain or soil or fruit but we have all the things that we talked about right so we have our talents we have our money we have our um 
gifts. We have all of these things and we want to tithe them. That means first use them for God. What does that mean? We talked about a gift of singing. To tithe that singing, if that makes sense, so we could steward it right. The first step of stewardship is to tithe it. Maybe we can sing on the worship team at church because we are using that gift to serve the Lord, right? We're using that gift and we're stewarding it in a way that it serves others and serves the Lord. If you're playing the piano, maybe we can play the piano at church. Um, if you have, let's go back to money, you have money, you can give that 10% of that money to the Lord. That means if you have $100, you would give $10 in the offering basket. That is tithing. And we want to give our first fruits, our first of anything, that first 10% of everything, we want to give it to the Lord because it belongs to him. Remember, we learned that nothing belongs to us, really. It belongs to God. And he's just trusting us with it. And we give him a tenth of that in return. Does that make sense? Okay, so now we're going to go down to Proverbs 3, verse 9 to 10. And it reads, Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine. What does that mean? Hmm. So it means this part right here, right? Giving that tithe, remember, first fruits. But it also continues to talk about how our barns will be filled to overflowing. So that means when we steward our things well and we're tithing, meaning we're giving our first 10% to God of everything, the Lord is going to fill us to overflowing. Remember, when he gives us a little and we steward it well, he gives us more. When he gives us a gift and we give that 10%, he gives us more. If you really knew how to sing and then you use it in the church, guess what? Now you know how to dance, right? Now you know how to, um, I don't know, sculpt. Because you're using your gifts, you're stewarding it well, you're using it for the Lord. All he's going to do is keep giving you more and more. But we have to steward it well. Does that make sense? Okay. Well, you know, one good practice would be um, to start tithing, right? Whatever it is that we have, we're going to start tithing that 10%. So again, if it's our gifts, if it's our money, if it's our whatever it is, we want to start tithing. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys, actually. Um, did you guys like this series? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Did you learn a lot? Okay. Now stay tuned because we, uh, we might have a little recap, so make sure you paid attention. There's four episodes of this series, all right? You can go back and watch them. All right. Well, let's pray out and let's practice our uh, stewardship when we go, okay? Lord, I thank you so, 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 so much for this series. We've learned a lot. And Lord, I pray that um, as the weeks go by, that we don't just start to forget about these things. When we get to new series, we don't want to just forget about the old ones, Lord. But I pray that you will help us to start implementing these things in our lives, to start doing the things that we're learning so that we can start stewarding well. Lord, I thank you um, that you were here with us through this whole series. And I thank you for whatever you have in store for us next. And Lord, we entrust everything to you. We're not going to lean on our own understanding. We are going to lean on you. So Lord, we simply say, have your way. We pray all of these things in Jesus' name. And all the Lord's children said, Amen. Amen.